Welcome to the Outer Worlds. Yesterday we got some information from the minister here saying that he's being held captive in his residence and we've got to go to the HHC headquarters to figure out what's going on. And I think the idea is to get in through the sewers. The Acropolis district is off limits. Move along. And, well, maybe we can persuade them rather or not. What in the law's name are you on about? I've got a bunch of bits actually here. Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis district. Okay, that makes it a little easier. So I thought we were going to have to sneak in through the sewers, but if you have enough persuasion and cash, looks like we can uh, just waltz right in. Okay. We need to I'm not sure I have ever in my entire life felt more out of place than I do at this moment. Yeah, it's pretty fancy. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Auntie Cleo, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. All right. Are these guys going to challenge us? Stay your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Yeah, actually, uh, we got this card here. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Yeah, you better be joking. I'm not authorized to employ humor on the job, sir. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Well, that's too bad. How would you just let me through? I was going to suggest that myself. Great. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Thank you. Mighty fine of you. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. <laughs> all right. to see the minister. He sounds like a greasy dude. Chairman. Sorry, we're at the minister. Now we're going to go see the chairman. I'll talk to the receptionist. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Okay. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant's stationery. Which is more of a hobby. That's fine, but I need to see Rockwell. Ah! Huh? Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Uh, nope. Let's see if we can go in anyways. So it's locked. Ah, here we go. We can unlock this with the access card. 
switch. Excuse me, just a moment. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, you. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. Yeah, somebody's saying your stationery collection, dude. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Stop bugging me. Uh, something's going on here because the wall's blown out. Disorder detected. Minimal. And something's. Chairman seems to be gone. Message here about the dimethyl sulfoxide. Where it's been delivered to. To the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Oh, we got the key card. So, looks like we'll have to go over to this ministry. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Whoa, he is pretty That's greasy. The whole colony's up a creek. I thought it was just Monarch. So that's why we were on a frozen colony ship. Well, we're in here. Is there any good loot? Too great to loot in here. Don't have a whole bunch of money or something. All right, so we should see. We have to go to the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. We'll have to work our way down. Enjoy your stationery. See you later. All 
All right, guys, ready for the next step? See you later, guards. All right. So we should be able to see where is the place that we need to go. Oh, it's pretty close by. Okay, we are in the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. We need to find our way in. Where are we going to go here? Looks like it's kind of downstairs here. Office here. Uh, it's a restricted area. I don't think we have a shroud that can get us through here yet. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Well, we got this fancy ID card. I don't know how you got that. But I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Yeah, let's see, we can get in by intimidating or lying. But I don't think, uh, yeah, we don't have enough. If you do, you'll be able to get in, but we're gonna have to figure out another way in here. So that didn't work. Let's try to get in here. I think that's going to be a problem. Well, let's check upstairs. Well, let's see if we can go upstairs here. And we have this terminal. Where was that terminal? I thought that would create something here. Is Carolyn. Carolyn's in the kitchen. She's mad about something. Maybe she's got a card. Kitchen, kitchen. That's another office. Oh, here's the kitchen here. Carolyn? If you see any sprats loose up here, definitely don't touch them. Uh, this looks like a scientist. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. And do you know Theodore? I knew it. He's eating your lunch too, isn't he? That greedy little sissy pig. This is great. I finally have someone else to complain to. What I give for a surplus of food to complain about. You get your turn. Right now, we're talking about Theodore. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to deliver him a reprimand, but I need an ID. Oh, that's no problem. I can get you into the lab. In fact, let's go there now. Great, thanks. Theodore's out right now, but we should be ready when he gets back. That way everyone can see you chew him out. This is going to be so good. All right, bring us over.
All right, guard, you're gonna beat your words when this lady brings me in. I need a favor. Think you could let my friend through just this once? After all, you still owe me. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. <laughs> and he's on his own if he runs into the guards downstairs. You're the best, Holt. All right. We're in. Whoop. This door is locked. We got almost enough lockpicks to actually get in there. Better not still have all these guys around. This is from that other room. Okay, so we're good into here. I wonder if we can pick up a lockpick or something in here. Nobody can see us. getting in there. Not much in here other than that room. So we will take the elevator, I think. All right, let's go downstairs, guys. You two ready? that are red, so I think we're definitely going to have to fight them. Whoa, there are a lot. Yeah, let's see. We need to go. I'm trying to get here to this back corner. Can we Sneak through. Oh, I think we need to get to that terminal. Let the record show that subject 23K's cause of death is cerebral vascular incident brought about by a ruptured aneurysm. That's an 86% failure rate for this batch. I think we can safely move on. Uh, no, this isn't where we need to go. Uh, unless it's in here. And here. 51 meters that way. These scientists won't really challenge us. They're doing experiments on the animals. Uh, we have to keep referring to our map to work our way through here. Let's open this, but I don't think this is where we need to be. Ton of guards walking around. Ooh, there's one there. 
Okay. I am a star. We definitely worked our way through the guards, or <laughs> that guard. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to fight our way through here. there, I think. That's locked. is an organic in rest mode. It looks like down there. sulfide oh, this is terminal okay we got oh transfer this to this cylinder sorry human test subjects Unfortunately, all these guys died because of that.
and we're gonna have to work our way out. Oh, that's it for here. We get to go back to Phineas. I don't think we can fast travel from here. Uh, we're probably gonna have to fight our way back out too. Stairs up, stairs up. Ah, a little quicker way out. And I think we can take this up. Well, the board's not going to like us much, but I think that doesn't matter too much. Uh, this guy's going to be mad at us when we come out of here, though. Mm, so far, so good. All right, let's head out. Okay, so we should be able to fast... Okay, so we should be able to fast travel to our ship and get over to Phineas. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion. In the you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. Oh, really? No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. Well, yep. I got your attention. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater, and in your wake, transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. Okay. And? Sounds like you approve. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. Well, what's your offer? You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Another one. Why is he wanted? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. So you want me to sell him out? Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Nope. You want me to sell Wells out? I'm not sure I'm going to do that right now. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? So 
So we've got a number of people trying to get us to sell out or turn in Phineas Wells. I don't know if that would end the game real quick. Or send it in another direction. You'll have to make that kind of decision when you're playing. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Uh, actually, yeah, I gotta tell you about the uh, colony. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Yeah, and the chairman's gonna freeze every worker. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Well, I found the chemicals in the ministry the board was testing on human subjects. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. I had to let them die. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? I think they're gonna, yeah, try to mitigate the damage to human tissue. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Yeah, what makes you say that? I used to work for these people. I'm intimately familiar with the utter incompetence of the board's own scientists. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Ooh, that's not good. It's gotta be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. Well, that's not cool. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. All right, there's a way. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space. Right next to my lab. Yep. It's probably damaged, so we have to rope power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. 
If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. Experimental methods for killing noxious life forms are not covered under this unit's limited liability agreement. Well said, whatever you are. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Okay, I'll do it. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. All right. Actually, yeah, the adjutant asked me to rat you out, but I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. Really? You got a plan or something? The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. Well, that should buy me some time. Ooh, okay. The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Okay, I'll do that then. Level up. So, we've completed that quest. If we go here to our quest. Now our main quest is not City of the Stars, but it is Kept Secret But Not Forgotten. So tomorrow we will start up on that main quest and see if we can push the story a little bit further. Now if you like The Outer Worlds, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos of this walkthrough. And put in the comments down below what you think of the game. Are you going to try out the game? Are you going to buy the game? Are you going to ask for it as a gift this holiday season? Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you tomorrow in the next one.